Hey, what's up guys? This is Crispy710 and today I am going to be showing you guys how to receive or replace um, your anti-aircraft trailer. Okay, now if you guys are going to receive it or replace it, you guys do need to own it. Okay, whether it's modded or not modded, you guys do need to own the anti-aircraft trailer. So as you guys can tell right here, I pulled out my anti-aircraft trailer. Now, I do want to be very clear. This anti-aircraft trailer that, um, not the one that I just un like unattached from, the other one is from DMO. So like, like from a uh, save editor, um, using like save wizard and all that stuff. Right. And it's only, it only requires two people to do, uh, to receive it or replace it. Um, if you dropped it from DMO, if you did not drop it from DMO, so if you do not have Save Wizard or Save Editor or anything like that, you do need to have at least two friends. Okay, so besides yourself, you need to have two other people in the lobby that um, that can help you receive or replace your anti-aircraft trailer. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get straight into the glitch. All right, guys. The first thing that you guys want to do is go into a free aim lobby and you guys also want to um, bookmark the job that's down in the description. This is for the PlayStation 4. Um, I will uh, link the, disc the job, I'll put like a job link for the PS5 and the Xbox or like the old gen Xbox. Um, so yeah. Uh, once you guys have the job bookmarked and you guys are inside of a uh, uh, free aim invite only session, go ahead and um, request your mobile operation center. And inside of your mobile operation center, you guys do need to have a oppressor mark two. All right. So in the back of your mobile operation center, you need the oppressor mark two, and you need to call them both out. So you call out the Mo oppressor mark two and you're going to call up your mobile operation center. You're going to leave them there and then you're going to make your way into the penthouse. OK, where the job should be bookmarked. All right, guys. So it's very simple. All right. You guys bookmark the job, get into a free aim session, invite only. OK, besides that, have an oppressor mark two in the back of your mobile operation center. Call both of them out. And make your way into the penthouse all right guys now once you guys make your way into the penthouse you guys will see the bookmark job right here all you guys want to go ahead and do is click the options button go to online go to cruise go to leaderboard and just go to the first crew which is the IGN crew I would say about 90% of the people that play GTA are in assisted aim so this is why we're going to need to be in free aim because you're going to be double joining them. If you guys don't understand what double joining somebody means, it just means you join someone in a different targeting mode session. You accept the first alert and decline the second one. Once you go ahead and do that, all you want to do is go up to the, um, like stay inside of the circle or try and be like on the edge of the, of the job circle. You go up to the door, you go to the music locker and you press X and right on the D pad at the exact same time. I did mess up the first, second, and I think third time, but that's basically all you guys do. You guys go ahead and double join somebody through the cruise, like leaderboard and all that, right? And then you go ahead and get glitched out, which is just going up to the job circle, being like right on the edge, going up to the door, clicking the music locker, and... Uh, you click right on the d-pad and x at the same time and then you just spam them so it did cut out a little bit but as you guys can tell right here i went up to the door i hit uh i uh, pressed x on the music locker and then i started spamming x and right on the d-pad at the exact same time and one of two things should happen either you will fall through the map just like i am right here or you will end up in a small tiny room where you can just go ahead and kill yourself. It's like a small tiny like janitorial room or something like that. But like I said, one of the two things would happen or will happen. Either you will fall through the map and end up around here or wherever you end up 
around the casino or you will end up being at the that little it's like a little room and you can just kill yourself okay now once you guys make your way all the way out here whether you kill yourself or you um, fall through the map all you guys want to go ahead and do is hop into the oppressor mark 2 that i had told you guys to um, pull out um, earlier okay and now you guys can do this yourselves or your friend can do it for you grab like a big truck suv or whatever and park it behind your mobile operation center you want to go ahead and um, sit right on top of it and click right on the d-pad once you click right on the d-pad you'll realize that the car underneath disappears once it disappears go ahead and return your um oppressor mark 2 back to its storage all right guys once you guys return it back to its storage all you guys want to do is request your anti-aircraft trailer now in order to request your anti-aircraft trailer you guys do need to return your mobile operation center back to its storage all right guys so the reason why we're um requesting our anti-aircraft trailer is because the one that we currently have is the one that we want to replace or um, basically get rid of, I guess. You get me? So, um, since that's the case, um, you guys want to obviously request the anti-aircraft trailer, which is going to be either... It's basically going to get deleted. Like You guys will not see your original anti-aircraft trailer anymore after you guys call it up right now. Okay? So... Like I said, you return your mobile operation center back to its storage, and then you request your anti-aircraft trailer. Once you request your anti-aircraft trailer, um, just make sure that it's on the map. So um, let me just go ahead and give me one second. Let me make sure that it's here on the map. So as you guys can tell, it's right here. Let's go over there really quickly so I can just show you guys that it's the original one that I called up from the beginning of the of the video. So all right there we go um it did get cut out a little bit but i'm basically just running back over here to the um anti-aircraft trailer that i'm going to be receiving okay guys so um it's it's very simple once you guys um get glitched out you guys do that thing with the oppressor mark 2 you guys want to return the oppressor mark 2 back to its storage which would be inside of the mobile operation center okay you return the mobile operation center and you request your anti-aircraft trailer once you do that just go ahead and hop into the anti-aircraft trailer that you are going to be receiving this is why i also said you need two friends if you do not have like save wizard and save editor and all that because you do need one person giving you the anti-aircraft trailer and another one sending you an invite to the mobile operation center just like my other account is about to do here so once you get the invite to the mobile operation center, all you guys want to go ahead and do is just accept that invite. Once you guys accept that invite, you guys will be here on a screen that's black and it's just like not going to load up to anything. So what you guys want to go ahead and do is press the PS4 button, go to settings, go to network, and right here where the box that has the check mark is at, click it one time, the check mark is going to disappear, click it again, the check mark is going to come back. Go back to GTA and you guys should get this alert that says the internet connection has been lost. Uh, Re-establish connection or whatever. Um, go ahead and accept that alert and basically all that should happen is you get kicked into story mode. Once you guys get kicked into story mode, go ahead and uh, make your way back into an invite only session. Super simple guys. Alright, once you make your way back into an invite only session, you guys can check yourselves if you guys did this correctly very simple very easy you guys well first of all i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys like where the things are at the anti-aircraft trailer that i am receiving or that i received is inside of my mobile operation center so if i request the personal vehicle from inside of my mobile operation center as i just did the anti-aircraft trailer is going to pop up now, if I request my anti-aircraft trailer normally from the uh, menu, what should pop up is my oppressor mark two. And that is 100% okay. That right there is uh, basically what you guys want. You guys want the oppressor mark two to be in the, in the spot of the anti-aircraft trailer. And you guys want... Um, 
the anti-aircraft trailer inside of your mobile operation center all right guys so if you guys did all of this correctly it's super easy from here all you guys want to go ahead and do is request the anti-aircraft trailer first through the interaction menu and that should bring up the oppressor mark 2 once it brings up the oppressor mark 2 you will then be allowed to request your mobile operation center once you request your mobile operation center all you have to do is fly the oppressor mark 2 into the back of the mobile operation center accept the alert and that's basically it um, that's the end of the glitch you will see right now that I am gonna go ahead and do that so I requested my oppressor mark 2 now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna request my mobile operation center as soon as my mobile operation center gets here I'm gonna go ahead and fly the oppressor mark 2 behind it and I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside so what I'm doing right now is I'm pushing my anti-aircraft trailer in the back of my mobile operation center over to its original spot all right and my oppressor mark 2 is back inside of my mobile operation center so everything worked out perfectly um as long as you guys did all of this you know um correctly it should have it should all work out um perfectly um but yeah guys um as you guys can tell i did use only two players like i was telling you guys the anti-aircraft trailer that i received um I dropped it through DMO, so you only need two people to receive a car that way. Um, and then if not, well, I mean, you can use two people just to receive a, uh, a regular car, but to receive, like, I think um, a special vehicle, uh, well, not a special vehicle, but the anti-aircraft trailer specifically, you do need three people because you do need to return the anti-aircraft trailer to call out the MOC or you need to return the MOC to call out the anti-aircraft trailer so it does kind of suck um, but the anti-aircraft trailer is used to modify the front cab of your MOC as you guys can tell the front cab of my MOC has the wheels from um, from the last anti-aircraft trailer that I had but I um, want to change them now so this is like a full method obviously right here on how to receive or replace your anti-aircraft trailer your anti-aircraft trailer 100 percent safely um, with no dead spots or anything like that um so like i said just keep in mind if you guys don't have save wizard save editor or nothing like that you guys do need two people in your session to help you out but if you guys dropped a ha an anti-aircraft trailer um from a uh, from save wizard or whatever then you guys just need two people but as you guys can tell i requested the anti-aircraft trailer from the interaction menu and this is the one that popped out so this is the one and it's in or it's in the original spot where it belongs inside the bunker so now i'm just gonna go ahead and merge these wheels over to the front cab of my moc and we're basically good to go but that's it for this video hopefully you guys did like it hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you guys did don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on you guys' post notifications the bell whatever um stay tuned because i am going to be giving a free account a uh, free modded account away with money and cars and all that stuff um but yeah uh, like i said hopefully you guys liked it enjoyed it and um it was like uh informational for you guys so uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one